Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I'm just kidding. I want to do, I want to do the, the eyebrow thing. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do it. Uh, don't show that. <laughs> My name is Tom Belanda, and I manage the referral partner network for our North American region at Trustpilot. So I was a caddy at a golf course and then also worked at the country club doing various things to earn whatever cash I could. Get up at 4 a.m., you drag around these Sometimes nice guys, but oftentimes not. They're heavy bags of golf clubs and cigars and drinks or whatever they want you to walk around the course with. And you sweat it out to earn $40 at the end of the day. I was good at it. Uh, you could say that it was some sort of form of partnerships when you're talking to all the you know, high class country club members. It gets, your, uh, it gets you grinding at an early age. I went to college or university for business and technology. Coming out of university, a good friend and I, we built an application together for Instagram marketing analytics. It was going to be the next new big thing for all the social media influencers. And we both had full-time jobs coming out of college because we wanted to grow our careers, but had this pet project that we had a, a lot of passion for. And we didn't put our full undivided attention on it. So within three years, we didn't keep up the app as much as we should have, didn't do enough sales and marketing, and really didn't commit enough time and energy. Um, and so we ended up sunsetting the app you know, by year three. It was good to fail that big that early because if I had put more money into it or put you know, more time and sacrificed my, you know, growing my initial career in sales, then I probably wouldn't be here you know, where I am today actually started after college as a recruiter for a firm just outside of New York City that recruited software developers and technology professionals. Hands down, the worst interview I've ever conducted and just been a part of. One candidate comes in after hours without greeting me, just plops himself down in the seat in my office and without saying a word, continues to take individual grapes out of his pocket and loose grapes. <laughs> <laughs> directly from his pop pants pocket. Eats them right in front of me like it's all normal. Chewing his grapes in the middle of answering my questions. It was so weird. After a few years, I transitioned over to sales in the e-com in industry and ecosystem. And I grew through the ranks. But as I was progressing through my sales career, partnerships became a lot more popular throughout you know, the rest of the industry and I soon tr uh, transitioned over to Referral Partnerships Manager at Trustpilot in January of 2020. My day-to-day -day really consists of both internal and external communications. Um, the internal, my role is to support my sales team, support the CS teams, help the sales team close new business, help the CS teams renew more of their clients at a higher rate, make sure that they're happier, and ultimately help the team grow in revenue. Externally, I regularly can communicate with my partners to tell them product updates, new integrations, um, but also talk to them frequently about co-marketing opportunities where we can get each other in front of each other's audiences. Um, but also on top of that, I'll usually educate their teams and teach them how to sell Trustpilot for us to their clients. If I were to change one thing in technology industry, uh, I'd say stop having conferences in hotels mm. and conference halls in Vegas. Do something outside, please. I'm dying to get outside and not go into a stuffy conference hall all day. So any new trade show outside in a concert, ball game, whatever, I'm there. The role that's taught me the most in my career, I would say, is this one, a trust pilot. Um, mainly because it is my first role within partnerships. And over the last two and a half years, it's incredible how many facets of the business that it touches. I mean, there's sales, customer success, marketing, uh, product, and there's a whole lot of areas that you can help the business grow. And I guess in really my opinion, partnerships 
plays a very large role as to how the outside world perceives us as a company. And therefore, other people in the industry, if they see things the way that we want to, their clients may see that as well, which are trust pilot prospects. Um, but that's what really has taught me a lot in this role is how to work with a lot of other teams and departments. Is it embarrassing to say The Rock? It's about pride, it's about power. It's about hunger every hour. I don't know the rest of No, no, I actually, I, I didn't really, I didn't know that The Rock was uh, that poor growing up and he actually made a ton of money for himself over the last several years, mainly because he's been grinding and connecting with more people in different industries that he wasn't connected with before. And I'm finding out in partnerships right now that that's a key to getting ahead, not only in your career, but also like in life. I would tell my younger self that failing is fun. Don't be afraid to fail. It's putting yourself out there and trying to connect with others about what you're passionate about that makes life fun. So if you fail in the process, who cares? Everybody fails all the time. The important teams or the important clubs or didn't get into the schools you want, um, that becomes less and less important the older you get. Just keep with it. Don't be afraid to fail, but don't hesitate to put yourself out there.